Speaking this week on WhatsApp, and you weren't sure about whether the right man picked up the trophy. What, are you not part of the Defenders' Union? What's the, what's the problem here? Yeah, but listen, there's no doubt in my mind Virgil van Dijk is the best defender on the planet today. But listen, when a man scores 50 goals in a season, like Messi did, or Cristiano has won three trophies this season, yeah, the effect he's had in a new, a new, a new uh, um, championship and at national level as well. You can't look beyond that, I don't care. And people say, oh, it's a bit boring that them two are still in it, but they're putting up numbers that's never been seen before for 12, 15 years. You can't look beyond that. And, and I'm a centre-half and I'm delighted that he's won it and I think he's, he's a, worthy, a worthy winner. But when you've got a man scoring 50, man, you can't do that. You can't you, you, do you it. Almost, I just won't have it. A separate award, doesn't it? it for doesn't. Messi yeah. the, and for they're, they're the best. Van Dijk deserves it. And I think it's about time that we respected the other jobs that people do. This eye-catching, isn't it? All this brilliant skill and flashes and brilliant moments. But what about the bread and butter defending? The hardest thing to makes do in the game is so to easy. Goal, you can't have, you can't yeah, have a centre-half. I can't remove the slide tackle. Can't have a I'm sorry, I can't remove the, the slide tackle. You is can't it? have it. You can't have a centre-half winning the Ballon d'Or. Why not? Of course you <laughs> can. No, you can't because... That's a total Van lack of Dijk. respect. Listen, <laughs> no, listen, if I was a manager, I'd sign you, Mark. If I was a manager, I'd sign you. You need a centre-half to win things. But people pay their money in the stadium to watch Messi, watch Ronaldo, watch goals, watch skills. You know, Van Dyke probably grew up wanting to be, I think he said he wanted to be Ronaldinho. He, did, he didn't even want to be, he's Van Dyke, he didn't even want to be Van Dyke. I think <laughs> if you play, no, you can't. And he's can't brilliant, reward, hey. he's the best, he is the he best is in the world. But for me, the Ballon d'Or should be what, what excites fans, what, I'm no, paying. Who, when you come yeah, to a stadium, these people are not paying I think to come to, to see someone. Gets no, but you, <laughs> these people, <laughs> these people, I mean, these Rio's people mentality. I mean, he couldn't have been a proper defender because he's, he's. I was he, the defender. Don't yeah. worry no, about but that. You're more of a flair type player. <laughs> yeah, you can I see why. Say. You've got to appreciate I Van Dyke. Van game. Dyke deserves that moment in the limelight because of what he does. He yeah. purrs around no, the football pitch like a Rolls Royce. He really is, man. He deserves everything he gets. I'm a massive fan of him. But when you're talking about that elite thing. That's the glamour. That's the razzmatazz of football. Listen, Coley, it's you not, don't it's come to the stadium. It. I would not spend yeah. my hard-earned cash to come and watch a defender. You're talking yeah, to... I'm spending my money to come You're and watch right someone entertain me. I want to be taken off my seat to scream and go, oh, my God, what a performance, what a goal. The hardest yeah. thing to do in the game is to score a goal, put the ball well, in the back of the net. Is. And I ex and and he's done it 50 is, times. We almost need to put Messi to one side, but Van Dijk needs Messi to be... Messi and Ronaldo. Messi and Ronaldo, Ronaldo, yes, of course. Please. I think Messi's better, though. But I think Van Dijk has to be held up there. Let's, yeah. let's look, inspiration for the next generation. Who's going to be... Young kids are watching him. Surely the way that he, he gets back, his pace that he shows, he's brilliant in the no air. He's passing. That, he's no passing. That. Is he going to have to score a goal running out from the back of the defence and beat the whole team before someone says, yeah, he can play as well? No. Who, like Messi? No, you like <laughs> Messi, yes. But <laughs> you've got to look at the values that he brings to he the brings team. He brings great value yeah. to a team. These two are just great. full of tricks. <laughs> They were full of tricks the whole time. Wanted to Mate, tell I, what I used to do to you in training, remember? Remember? I can remember. remember. I can remember. Don't worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't really a centre-half. In the modern-day game, he, he should be playing in midfield, shouldn't Molds he? Moulds and no shin pads are the you players. You're not really a centre-half. Just remember that, OK? I was the centre-half. What are you talking about? <laughs> you're all right. Converted midfield player. Who should win the Ballon d'Or? Messi or Ronaldo should have won it this Pick year. One. Not I Ronaldo. Think, I think Ronaldo for winning the three trophies. A new, new championship with his national team as well. The impact, I think. Who he... should win it? The next Ballon d'Or, who should be the man? I say Ronaldo. Messi. Who do you think? Van Dijk. There you Let's go. Let's give it to Van Dijk. <laughs>